today on Redneck Rescue, our situation is, is we've got a snowmobile stuck in the lake. It's in about three feet of water. It's about 200 feet out. Let's go check it out. We're making a fashion statement with our nice waders. All right, so we got our spool set up. We're gonna walk out with a snatch block. It's way out here. We've got the gas powered winch set up using both sleds as anchors. And my tail end of my line is hooked just to this one. Our sleds are still on shore and we're gonna go ahead and unspool all the way out to the dead sled way out there. So right now we ran out of rope. Our snowmobile is just right there. Now we're gonna go ahead and add an extension line for a total of over 350 feet of rope. So here's our scene. Right now I'm on my motorcycle ramp that I drug out here. I managed to stay on top. Here's our sled. You see a little grass underneath the front. I think the back is touching bottom. I'm hoping to pull it this direction and get it up on top. Here we go. So here comes tension. Right now we've got it hooked to the ski tip and the A-arms. But the slush is holding it pretty good. So we're gonna rock it back and forth, get it free a little bit, shovel out in front of it, behind it. That way we can readjust the angle and get it pointed towards shore. Now I just let the winch build tension, give it a pull, and it moves just little by little. Hey, time out for just a sec. Release tension, thank you. Now I'm going to move the rigging to both skis, one slightly longer than the other. I have an extra line hooked up to the A-arms just in case. I'm going to go ahead and get in the water and use my motorcycle ramp as a ramp for the ski to help that sled pop up on top. Go ahead and level it out one more time and up it goes. Okay, go ahead and stop for a minute. Now that the sled is pointed straight at shore, I'm gonna go ahead and hook to both ski tips. That way, as it pulls, it pulls that nose up on top. So you can see back there where we were. They made all the way down to the bottom. You can see I'm knee deep. I got waders on and a life jacket. We're just pulling. Little bits at a time. Back. We're just gonna drag our ramp behind. The sled's staying on top nicely. See, I got a life jacket under the front of the sled. Just in case it broke through hard, the front would float. But with it tied to the skis, it just kind of pulls right along. It keeps those tips right up. It's deep. Now our rope extension is getting pretty close to shore. So we're gonna go ahead and disconnect, walk back out with the snatch block, and hook it back up for the rest of the pole. Nice. So we're pretty solid ground here. So I went ahead and started the sled, start drying that belt off. We'll shut it off for the transition across the shallow part here. We went ahead and shut the sled off for the transition from ice to shoreline because that last five feet is always slushy. So we went ahead and laid out our snowmobile ramp as a transition across so the front end doesn't sink through. Moving in for the win. Now that it's on shore and when the belt's dried, he can just ride it on home rescue was about three hours if you enjoyed today's episode of redneck rescue go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button we got other rescues coming down the line have fun out there